way too much on the one in the Captain Scarlet DLC. That one's not really that that good that's if you don't really have that good guns um but this i'm actually going to be including the weapon and a certain shield in my build uh and this is basically getting um this um you need to have a sham i'm using the banda and the proficiency relic just so i can get have um phase lock most of the time this is not like a class specific build by the way uh i just have phase lock for like the um, the procreators and the monarchs but uh you need you're gonna need one of these bad boys um top near um i actually really love top nears. um but even on with you don't even really need to slag them um and with this you can just passively um regen rocket ammo um and honey fortune would obviously be best but this is fine if you really do need healing because you're low somehow um the good thing about having a siren with this build is a life tap um because because of the spamming spamminess of the top near you'll get a spiderling and you'll instantly regain all back all your health because you're still spamming it's so hard um but let me just show you guys the route because all you need is a top near basically Ooh. What is that? the tracing on the set um like you can see what you're looking at through the set oh that's really sick not even the new modern warfare without the snipers. But you're gonna. It's basically like the old one. In s but instead, you're gonna combine these two areas. And try and basically, that's it. Using a wreck, you can just. Um. Um. You can easily destroy anything with the enhanced fire rate. Yeah, uh, and so it's like slag them, so that's really easy. But you really want to like kill the enemies because you can't just run through because enemies keep on coming. Like you see the two here. Now once you finish off those, you can see now there's three more. Um, this is why I have pizza. Uh, so it goes. Oh, no. I hate the game when the game breaks. Up, so the game. But you, you, you can also just have the Logan's gun as a backup. Probably a low level one. Uh, and if you have a low level, a sham like me, you can always use. Uh, this is for Saren only. You can always use a rebounding water class mod with the uh, recompense and the wreck. Because uh, you get the um, recompense is just pretty nice to have. Uh, because uh, like it's especially good with um, uh, a rough rider. Because you'll have a 100% chance uh, to hurt them. Um, because you'll only take health damage. Um, but you can obviously also use the Rough Rider or the Bee if you don't have certain weapons. But if you just need a rocket ammo, like I could also use the um, this stockpile relic. But I really just want that um, cooldown to be like seventy-one percent. Um, lower time, but uh, there's a lot of variations you could do. But the top near is the most like cemented. The top near is the most cemented. Thing to the top. Let me actually use. Oh no! Plus five rig. I can get that with the um, with the water anyways. Did I 
really take health damage that often unless you purposefully just like get up in enemy faces and kill yourself at the top here, but you need to like not need to work for sure and you won't like take damage at all. Like I've gone a full mag just shooting at the ground. Right in front of me. Ah see, there's one of the rare ones. Well you, you, you will die when you get hit because of the sheer damage of this gun. But um You can also um if she spawns in, I didn't get lucky this time, get the black queen over there. Um she drops the nukem. I don't know why you don't want the nukem unless you are doing coral key some reason with the nuke or like um sand hook switching. Oh but all of the sand hooks. Seems really like everything. I couldn't even bother getting the nuke from those if I would usually just um I I don't really think I'm done with this and left it at a smooth no element that hole because I was just so dumb. Um, but you basically just want to murder everyone here until there's nothing left. I think I'm going to keep on doing this until I actually get out of here. I don't want to get out of here. Once we murder these kids, it's pretty turkey. It's glasses. It's one with double buzzings. Oh, like five cubbies. Um, in about an hour of runs. So it's actually really good. In terms of, um, like, um, cubby ratio to runs. Because of how many you get. Like, I, I got two in a row. Well, two in one run, actually. Sorry about that. Um, down. Uh, um, uh, two, two tubbies, two runs in a row. It's actually really easy. I've also seen other people on Reddit use this route a lot as well. So I need another backer. This one's OP6. And it's the perfect prefix, but it is OP6. Uh, so I'm just looking for any better. Hold it right there. Not too new for me, but it's pretty okay. Uh, every time you see a mana, that has a chance of being a tubby. Like a mana for a pro creator, so they are badasses, even though it is not in the name that they are badasses. They are actually badasses. They're badasses. Um, it's very, it's very hard to see the game if I leave. I just get really unlucky all the time. I have amazing class mod luck getting perfect, better than mine, breakneck banshees from normal. From normal badass slackers, but... No. Um, uh, um, when I come to Tommy I get, oh uh, yeah, um, he has a psycho com and two iridium. Silence. Um, and sometimes I don't go, uh, I go without a cubby for several runs. I remember when I started this farm, I went like seven runs without uh, a tubby, and I am on about four now without a tubby, which really sucks. Here, yeah, dude. I literally just finished the tutorial, by the way. Um, um, but that was basically the farm. It takes, on average, I'm guessing, okay, five. That's basically the farm. 
and that is the uh, extent of what you're gonna get from that farm. Um, the tubby chance is quite high if you have good luck. If you don't have good luck, by the way, uh, you're better off deleting the game. <laughs> mm. But uh, it was nice. I'll see you guys later.